Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In the last episode, we completed through the tutorial, had Smiling Jack talk to us a little bit about what it means to be a vampire in vampire society, and overall, we just kicked a, a bunch of ass. It was really great, we did awesome, not much else we could do about that. Uh, so now, we are in Santa Monica proper, we've gotten a few items. I'm going to show you a neat little thing right here. And that's the television. A mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the negative zero star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident. Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark gate's destruction. Miraculously, this is the second crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Well, we got the same one twice, so either way. The point is I wanted to show you that is because with uh, the television that news reporter will report on events that go on in the game so every now and then I will be turning on the television and letting you guys see just what all has gone on uh, since it redid the same one twice I figured whatever but it's a neat little thing and I figured it'd be great to share with you guys so we're gonna go ahead and go through here see if we can't pick this lock nope below a five but we'll be able to get back in there later what we do want is to read this carnival of death Grissom remains found on the pier police baffled so that gives us a quest yeah perhaps we should look into that perhaps perhaps but not right now I'm just breaking into people's apartments seeing if they have anything interesting to take our inspection may not be high enough cuz I swear I remember there being stuff in here but it's not there anymore it could be that it got moved out as a result of the patch but yes we even got a little mailbox here except the name is scratched out so let's head out into the street prop You got, you got some change, mister? Uh, here, it's not much, but I hope it helps. Just very nice, thank you. Alright, we got some humanity for a good deed. But now we're heading out onto the streets. That immediately caught our attention. Oh dear. Car crash and everything. So what just happened? Ah, there's a guy right here. Let's talk uh, to him. Yes, is there something I can um, help you with? What are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town. This time of night. It's not a dreadful place, don't you think? You should listen to my mechanic. Buy German, he said. Terribly sorry to trouble you. My wallet's been stolen and I need to take a cab. Oh, I completely understand. Here, uh, take a few bucks. Think nothing of it. I wouldn't be surprised if in this neighborhood you were pickpocketed. Anyhow, good evening and uh, do be careful. Thank you. Alright, so he just gave us 20 bucks. That's all fine and good. But this is where Mercurio said to go. So let's check that out real quick. Elysium. We are entering Elysium, which is the domain of a powerful vampire. His was room number four. That guy crawled all the way over here. And Jesus, he is a mess. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm 
Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Stay with me, what happened? I got, I went, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit, my rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. It's a broken bottle. Now tell me what happened to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in LA. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks. Hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn Billy Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit. They got the money, they got the astrolite. Vamp blood? Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. So where do I find the astrolite now? Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money, too, that prick. So how do I get it back? You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I'll bring something back for you. Uh, one more thing. How about the deal? I mean it. If you tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. If you don't say anything, I can help you out. Good to know. Goodbye. Rest carefully. Don't go... Suddenly dying. Alright. Go through here. That's locked. And these other ones don't even have doorknobs on them. Well, that's over and done. Rumored to have its origins in a medieval death cult. Something about the Sabbat. Or Sabbat. However you want to pronounce it. Alright, so there we go. That little trip to Mercurio took an interesting turn. Well, it certainly didn't end well for him, but we got to get ourselves situated better. So we are just going to continue to explore for a little bit. Let's go over here to the punch up, which we are currently taking residence above. Is this guy? Oh, uh, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, uh, how's it going? You, um, looking at a buyer, seller. Uh, what's your name? He called me Trip. I own this shop. Nice to meet you, Trip. Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? Yeah, I am. Is it that obvious? It's not a big surprise. We get new faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now... I don't know, man. It's more like drifters. Why do they come here? It's me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. So they call you Trip. You doing drugs? Um, no. Not, not really. Sorry. Not really? There's a clinic across the road. Should I get you something for a discount? Thanks. You, uh, you to Santa Monica? Uh, no. I'm surprised we haven't met before. It's not a big surprise. Okay, okay. Interesting. I will talk with you later. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Uh, do you sell weapons? Uh, no, not, not really. Sorry. I'm not convinced. You know, you really don't seem the criminal and or undercover cop type. Yes, I am the fabulous type. Well, okay. Hey, it's cool. I'm overstocked anyhow. Take a look and feel free to come back anytime. Thanks. Let's see what you have. I'm going to go ahead and sell my tie iron. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to my gun now. Keep my bat and my gun. 
Simple as that. No, wait, I've got other bag. stuff to sell. What you need? Bye. Right, here's what we got today. Huh. My pill bottle is missing for some reason. I'm supposed to be able to sell that. Yeah, it's right there. Odd. Thanks for coming back. What you need? All right. Here's what we got today. Okay, there we go. I knew I had stuff to sell. Okay, cool. That's over and done with. So now we've got a place where we can buy guns and weapons and ammo. As well as we can get a discount if we can get him some high quality drugs. So Mercurio needs drugs and that guy wants drugs. So we're going to have to go to the hospital. We're going to break into it. Medical clinic, rather. It's not too much of a hospital. Eat something, pal. Whoa. Uh, I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, wait. Say that again. Okay, I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, you. You're a vampire, aren't you? What vampire? What the hell are you smoking? Oh, come on. Oh, man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. <laughs> Just come clean, you know? I mean, oh, man. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. Just wanna talk. Alright, then, let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh, man! I knew it! I just... Oh, jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell I... Oh, man, this is great! And I saw your teeth in it, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. Your name's Knox Harrington. I didn't meet you. Oh, man. Are you a vampire? How do you know all this? I'm a ghoul. Didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared, and... Well, all of a sudden... BAM! Oh, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind. You said you're a ghoul. What's that? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. You can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh, man. Then they're a ghoul and, ooh, watch out. Uh, you seem to enjoy it. It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug off you. I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. It felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. So, who was this nasty dude? Oh, man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you, just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man, you do than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? So what are you doing around here? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, ha, it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going, oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. <laughs> See you around. Oh, all these people just suddenly got in the way. I just wanted to come in here. <laughs> Jeezy Pete's. All right. So let's go ahead. Please wait your turn, and you'll be seen. I'm here to work on the network upstairs. Nobody told me to expect any technicians. <sighs> let's see. Call whoever it is in charge. I don't care. I get paid by the minute. Fine, whatever. Here's the key for the second floor. Stairs are down the hall. Tell the guard upstairs you're here to work on the network. Thanks. I will. Goodbye. Simple as that. Just talked our way in. And there's this girl right here, so we're gonna do uh, uh, Please, get a doctor. I'll see what I can do. Uh, my inside, it hurts so bad. I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. But there's this girl over there, and I think she's gonna die. See here now, I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I look at her as soon as possible. Try to talk to her, keep her awake. But... I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse page, Dr. Roberts, a half hour ago. He'll be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. Ugh, what time is it? <laughs> can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me. I can save you. I just learned about this. Uh, 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 
Here, drink this and live. I just learned about this like 10 minutes ago. This will be awesome. Hey, stop. <laughs> you all right? You. Who, who, who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? Nothing. I'm just a nurse. No, no. You did something. I can feel it. It's fixing me. You, I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? Look, forget about this and don't say anything. You'll be fine. You. I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. I really must be going now. So there we go. We just saved that young girl's life. Any drugs in this cabinet real quick? No? Okay. Bye. <laughs> Simple as that. Let's go into this room. Something about medication for that guy. Don't really know what that's for. I think that's just for like show-offs and stuff that's part of n other content ooh another pill bottle always good let's just go ahead and do a little bit more digging I think we were just in that room administration oh hey computers for grandma we can read books and they can raise our stats simple as that Okay, email. Let's hopefully hack it at a skill of three. Lakers, a little help. Or one. Hey, Danny, I could use a little help down here. Can you go up to controlled substances for some morphine? I'm pretty busy right now. Thanks, F Dog. No, it's not for my personal use, you bastard. I don't know they were out of stairs. Maybe you can get some in Malcolm's office? By the way, your mother wears combat boots. Okay, it's the next one. Oh shit, that's cold. I'll make sure to knock before I go in. I'd hate to catch them in the middle of a pelvic examination. And by the way, tell your mom to stop calling me. Interesting. That was a nifty little conversation. So morphine is in Dr. Malcolm's office. I already know that. I need to blood buff in order to pick the lock. Simple as that. While we're here, let's check out his computer. Pensea. One. Tonight. Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. You do still make house calls, don't you, doctor? I have something that needs checked out. Do I have to really ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want to, but I really need to help some studying for my anatomy test. Please? Guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over, and if you want, should want me to show my appreciation, you just have to ask. Ooh. Malcolm, do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week? My mother's coming into town on Thursday. I bought a new mattress and some curtains for the guest room. Do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on your way home to breakfast? So it looks like Malcolm is a philanderous adulterer on his wife and he was the doctor who wouldn't save that poor girl who was dying in the table because he didn't want to do it because some guy had a bullet in his head hmm wonder what we're gonna do now I will get to you when I can please take a seat you Malcolm your wife know about your affair get out of here can't you see I'm with a patient I guess you don't care if your wife finds out then. Trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out. Uh, then I'll go forward that email from Paige to Trina at SOL dot uh, vampire the masquerade dot com. What do you want? Seventy five bucks. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. Never speak to me about that again. Put it in the mailbox for five oh eight in the apartments above the pawn shop, doctor. Oh, and while your back is turned... Sir, can you hear me? Why don't you, uh, help me with this pain in my stomach? 
Hmm. Thank you. Feels good. Simple as that. Ah, I'm stuck on the door. Oof. All right, guys. Now, we're almost done here. We got some morphine from Mercurio, but we're going to get something for Trip. But we're going to have to take care of that in the next episode, guys. Hope you're having fun, and I will hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.